Yo, YouTube was in and was in it. it is your boy Frank Nitty Chicken in with a quick. I'm gonna stop saying quick video because these videos be a good little 10 minutes or whatever like that. But I most definitely want to talk about this, you know what I'm saying, man. Before I even get started, hey, them spikes was a waste of money, you hear me? Them things was a waste of money, and the reason why I say that is I drove a couple miles up the road and I lost so many spikes off them front drive uh front steel tires i don't even know like i had to end up taking them off uh i'm gonna have to find some type of spikes where they can screw on if y'all know of so well i can find the spikes the thing is the lug nuts aren't the the long ones you know what i'm saying on these new trucks they short so i gotta find some lug nuts that are actually fit and actually twist on the front of this truck but other than that, I want to speak on something real quick. Before this truck driving thing even started popping off, as far as YouTube and as far as, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, us really getting on here, driving these videos, getting all these referrals, this, that, and the third. Before us even, you know, getting the CDL license and all that, we are people first. We are people first. You know what I'm saying? And I can't stress it enough. We make mistakes. We human. But the thing is, as a man, because I done heard somebody say that, you know what I'm saying, they ended up saying something to somebody else that dropped something under the comments, then the company come chasing after them because they supposed to be a, rep a representation of the company. No, we are not a reputation, uh, a representation of these companies. We are not. Maybe 5% of what we do is a representation of this company you know what i'm saying like all day long y'all can go and chase behind swift swift a bad company swift this swift that no it's the drivers it's the drivers they put these dudes in trucks they allow them to get in brand new trucks after a hundred hours of driving and then boom he don't know what to do he mess up but we they don't have nothing to do with us as in it uh uh individuals when it comes to our respect we are humans first when we come to these companies drivers make the company without drivers companies have nothing at all whatsoever it wouldn't be no trucking if you didn't have an individual a human being in a truck so peep this out i saw something where a driver was forced to take something down off of their youtube and it pissed me off because if you feel a certain type of way, our YouTube is outside of our career. Damn near. What you do on YouTube can be an income. That's your business. The amount of views you get, the amount of subscriptions, the amount of comments, likes, dislikes, that's your business. So when they come down to it, if you talking about a company and you keeping it all the way a thousand and they, and they don't like what you saying, Either you're going to terminate me, bring me in, talk to me about it, tell me to sugarcoat it, all it. No. Just highlight me, tell me what you feel, this day and the third, and boom. If I'm going to change it, I'm going to change it on my own accord. You're not going to force me to take no content down. And this ain't talking about me at this moment. This is something that I've seen. When we come on YouTube and we talk about our experience, and if we address something, in these comments y'all people jumping these comments feeling like oh he's behind the camera he ain't making no money you can say whatever you want to say to this driver this day and the third but somebody to catch you in these streets because everybody not no regular truck driver some of us are felons some of us really bought their life it's plenty of times you can go on youtube and see somebody get smacked up for talking trash behind the comment Meek Mill said it the best way, internet gangsters. That's what a lot of people are. That's what it's come to. That's why we got so many killings. Cause don't nobody know how to fight for real. So y'all hyping people comments, then boom, what they do? They YouTubers. So if they're a YouTuber, guess what they gonna do? They gonna go on a video, start recording and address the situation. And if you got a problem and he man enough, he gonna most definitely drop a location, a phone number, whatever where y'all can meet up at. That's just what happened if you really bought it. So that's my thing. Stop hollering at these people 
back to back. You know what I'm saying? Like people just won't really try to figure out what's going on. And then you got companies that hop on you. Oh, you a representation of us. We this, we that. You supposed to be doing this, that, and third. But the thing is, how you gonna tell me I'm supposed to be doing something when you only paying me 30 cent a mile, 40 cent a mile? Your driver might not even be touching a thousand dollars a week. Are you trying to tell me I'm a representation of you? What you pay me, how you run me, how I'm living, what I drive, how my family doing, how much money I got to save, how my business doing. That should be a representation of how well y'all treat me. It just don't work one way. It don't. And I don't understand it. It's like companies do not know nothing about these drivers. Till you go on here and you post a video about something and then next day you know, boom, it don't call to attention because it's something negative or something that they don't agree with. But when it comes to your work ethic, and you're around here busting your ass, you're driving all day long, you delivering loads, you got a family emergency, but they want you to drive 600 miles and then turn around and then go back home. It's like, this ain't no one way street when it comes to this truck driving. So I'm gonna say this. And like I say, it's gonna be it's, it's a short video. You know what I'm saying? When it when when it come down to all of this, we are a representation of ourselves. Our work ethic shows everything. Our character shows everything. But at the same time, we gotta protect ourselves. We want we will not be stepped on. You say something, it's gonna be corrected. Disrespect will not be tolerated. And I speak that for a whole lot of people in the world like it just will not be tolerated the disrespect you have in these comments or oh, i make more money than you i do this i do that but you live in a trailer you still stay in an apartment complex you a company driver you got you know what i'm saying all this stuff on your license and then you come for somebody that's actually doing better than what you doing oh you need to go back to school or oh, you need to change companies but you driving and you're not even making a thousand dollars a week this dude might be with the worst company in the world, but he made more money than you. But y'all hop in these comments and constantly keep picking at somebody and poking at somebody. And the thing is, I would drop a name, but as you know, my background will let me do it. Bro, you all, hey, you watch my videos and you watch other dude videos. And I'm not going to drop your name because that ain't what I do. But just know, I done ran into you in the past. Keep picking and poking at these drivers. And I'm not threatening nobody. I'm just going to speak on it one time. Leave drivers alone. If you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. I don't normally come on here and talk about stuff like that. But it bothers me when somebody is about to lose their job because you jumped on them. And then they reacted to you and, and, made, and put you in your place. And then you run and call the company and tell these people, oh, he said this to me. He made a whole video, blah, say, blah. They bullying me in the comments on his video. Like, come on, man. Who do that? Come on, man. Don't do that. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, just quick video. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, leave people alone. These people be all to generous, just trying to do their job, trying to make little content for people so y'all can watch while y'all on the road or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit of excitement. That's all it is. But like I say, I appreciate y'all for checking in. You know what I'm saying? On this quick little session. I do apologize for having to hop on here and talk about this. It was just irking me. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, I appreciate it. Drop down in the comment section. You know, like, subscribe, share, all that. You know what I'm saying? I greatly appreciate y'all. And we're going to continue to keep it moving. Situation dead here.